add videos and pictures over other videos in Canva. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can get started with adding B-roll to your video. So let's get into it. Now, there are some ways that you can do this very easily, but that is the way where you can't get the audio of your original video. So I'm going to show you how you can add videos or images while keeping the original audio. So to get started, all I'm going to do is click on videos on canva.com. I will open up a blank canvas. And now once you have your blank canvas, you're going to go into uploads. And you will just upload your files, whatever video you want. So I'm going to actually trim this video. So I've just made this uh, a lot shorter. I've just made it 16 seconds. And let's say this is like my original like video. And this is how I'm placing it right at the center. Now, let's say that when I say uh, right at the fifth second, so around at the 4.3 second mark, I talk about icons and let's say I want to insert a video of icons or insert a, another video on top while keeping this original audio. Well, uh, if you want to make it full screen, you can make it full screen as well. To do that, all you have to do is you want to click on elements. And you can upload your video, you know, your B-roll is also uh, something that you have already recorded. You can upload it, but I'm going to go into elements and just in the elements section, you will search for frame and you can see you have a bunch of different frames. You can search for the particular shape that you are looking for. So I would just search for rectangle frame and you get this basic frame. And what you're going to do is you're just going to expand it all over. And you guys can see over here that in the bottom, it you can see this section where you have like uh, your preview. And in your preview, you don't want this to appear in your entire video. So what you would do is you can just go on ahead, place it at a certain time. So I'm just going to take the rectangular one because I want my new video, the B-roll video, to just be, you know, on top like so. Now, once I have this frame added, what I'm going to do is go into my uploads and add the video. So let's say uh, whatever video it might be, I'm just going to take some video off of Canva like this. So I'm just going to take this video and this is 44 seconds. So obviously I have to trim it out a little. Now I'm going to just trim this video to just 1.8 seconds around this much and I'm going to click on done. Now once you have added your video, you might be wondering, hey, this is on my entire screen, what can I do now? Well, don't worry. Now you have to do, just click on the video that you added over top, do a right click, and then you can click on show timing. You will see this option right below your alignment and layering options. And this will show you your show timing. So now you can choose how you want it to appear. So where you want this to appear and where you want the rest of your video. So you can click on delete over here, delete the frame, and this will remove. But we are going to go back, go ahead, click on show timing. You will see the uh, show timing that you get. And we can just go on ahead. So I've just added my video and I think I'm good with like the 1.5 second. So now I'm going to go show timing and in your show timing, you're just going to select the uh, top section, the purple one, which has your little video embedded within. And then you want to reduce this icon to only the size that you can see or only to the size of your video. So my video that I added is 1.4 seconds. I'm just going to add it like this and then you're just going to have it like so. Now you can just put it to the top and you will be able to see. Now if I drag my cursor on the rest of my video, it's my face, but you guys can see that this is what it's currently looking like. So depending on what you add as your b-roll, I'm just going to go back and we are going to just add our b-roll over here. So let's say this is our b-roll. I would click on this, click on edit video, make it shorter, click on done, click on show timing. And then I would just reduce the size of this. And now if I show you guys what it's going to look like with my entire video. So this is what my video looks like now. 
all this stuff. Alex. So just like that, I've added like my frame and you can just place it wherever you feel like it, wherever you want to insert it. You don't need to worry about, uh, you know, not being able to change the position. You can easily change the position. So you can just select it from here and just change wherever you want it to be. So in this way, you can insert images as well. So for images, pretty much do the same thing. Let's say I want to go and search for frame, or you can even just scroll down and you can see your frames or grids over here. And you can just search for the grid. And I'm just going to click on layer, and layer this to the front. And now let's say I want to add something like an image. So I'm gonna go in and search this. And once I've added my image for whatever duration you want it to appear, you can just go on ahead click on this, click on show timing, and you will see it on the top. You can select it however you want and expand it to the uh, number of seconds you want it to appear. How it's going to be. So you guys can see this is how you can insert full screen videos or images onto your pre-existing Canva video and keep the original audio as well. So there are so many different things that you can do other than just adding, you know, videos or audio or any kind of other thing. So if you want to add, let's say on my video, let's just take the teddy bear video once more. And let's say I want to add a, so let's say I even want to add a voiceover on this and I want the voiceover uh, and then I want to add clips as well and then I want to add pictures. So for videos and pictures, we know how to do that. We go into frames and with a frame, we move the time of the frame. But if you want to add voiceovers, you can do that as well. And you don't need any third party application to be able to do that. So if you want to include a new voiceover, maybe it doesn't fit with the overall theme of your video, the one that you recorded, maybe you just want a fresh voiceover. So to be able to do that directly on Canva, just take your video, edit and add, you know, your add the, uh, secondary video or secondary audio, whatever it might be. So let's say I'm just going to go back into elements, go into frames over here, and I'll just take this frame, bring it to the front. And I'll add that teddy bear video, teddy bear image. So I'm going to go over here, add this. And now I'm just going to do the same thing that I did previously, show timing. And then I would trim up the timing from here. We're just going to trim this out like so. And just place it somewhere around here. And then I would just trim the overall video as well. And now what I can do to just record my voiceover directly on my Canva tool is I can just open this video up. I've set it up however I want. And now I can go ahead and click on share on the top right. Once you click on share, you will be able to see these little options. So if you can't see this option, just click on more over here and then you will get all of these options and you want to click on present and record. So once you click on present and record, you want to go into start recording and you can choose your camera, you're going to choose your mic and you can start recording. So this is our little video. It's playing as it is, obviously, and you can just record your voiceover and click on end recording and it's going to play your video as it is. It's just going to be pretty much the same and you can just click on save and exit and then you can go ahead and click on uploads on the bottom left and you will click on audio and you will get a audio recording and then you can drag and drop that audio recording over your video to just uh, be able to you know add your audio recording wherever you want so in this way you can add voiceovers over videos as well you can also do some syncing and cut and trim this according to the uh, video that you have designed so I hope you guys found this video helpful and now you are able to add images over videos on Canva to be able to add images, clips, and uh, keep the original audio and add b-roll and, you know, add b-roll and add voiceovers to your original videos. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.